New at six, a national union leader is in hot water for comments he made right here in Rhode Island. It's a big story in the world of labor that could have national implications. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White in our newsroom with the details. A vice president with the International Brotherhood of Teamsters was in Rhode Island last month for a rally to support the re-election of a local labor leader. But an independent board that investigates union corruption says his comments went too far. Sean O'Brien is the highest ranking member of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters in New England. As a top lieutenant to Teamster president and national figure James Hoffa, O'Brien's presence at a union rally at the local 251 in East Providence was a huge show of support. <laughs> It was for the re-election of Secretary Treasurer Joseph Barros, the leader of the local. His comments from that day were posted on YouTube. I got news for you. Anybody takes on my friend Joe Barros and his team, or Local 251, they got a major problem. They'll never be our friends. They need to be punished. Right. They, right. Yeah. They, need to be, they need to be punished. The video was later removed from YouTube, but used as evidence in an investigation by the Independent Review Board, which investigates union complaints. According to a letter obtained by Target 12, the board found O'Brien's comments that anyone who votes for opponent Matt Taby should be punished was a violation of union members' rights to seek election to office and support the candidates of one's choice. O'Brien, who makes more than $200,000 a year in his position within the Teamsters, could face a possible suspension. Now that election is going on right now, the ballots will be counted on October 30th. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.